Let's get into when, when developmental came. So I don't remember how long that had been at OVW at the old building on Mechanic Street, but eventually WWE started moving in. You weren't under contract in the very beginning, right? Weren't they? In no, the they, they started in 99 with the developmental. And they sent us, I believe, like Rico was one of the first ones yeah. that they sent. And then like Russ McCullough and a few guys. And then Nick and Flash were the first two of the guys who were, weren't brought in from the WWE to get signed. And when they signed them, Danny had told me that me and Damage would be like a year away. Like they were, they were pushing for us. So, so I wrestled, you know, for free for my first year. I know I had 167 matches. So like about 500 matches until I got a, I got a contract in 2000. So about a year after Nick and flash. And what time or what year did you start there? I started in 97. So a few years after, I mean, you thought it was going to be a few months, <laughs> but a uh, few years. Well, was I got to start uh, within a year. I was booked to do like dark matches for WWF. Were you? That's all. Awesome. But I never. It took a while before. Like I, you go to do a dark match and you end up being a, a an orderly that's getting beat up. Yeah. You end up being a security guard. I was a. Uh, I was loaded a truck and got thrown into a into a semi. So all these things before my finally had my. My first match on there wasn't a dark match. I wrestled D'Lo Brown on television. Hmm. Oh, was it? I remember you guys Before were like I had the a contract. Conquistadors at one time too, weren't you? Or something. Like me and me and Nick rest. We were under contract, and they didn't want us to debut yet, so oh, okay. we were Conquistadors, so we could still work. And, and we worked Billy Kidman and Rey Mysterio. I think they were the tag champs. And I remember William Regal was the agent at the time for that match, and he came to me and Nick, and he said, "Now, guys." this match isn't really for you all. <laughs> we were like, well, <laughs> we, we kind of figured that when we were conquistadors, but we were, you know, we were just like, Hey, we know what we're here to do. You got us under mask and make them look like a million bucks. Like they always do. And, and, you know, don't hurt anybody and further their storyline. So after Danny said, or I think it was Danny said, said it's going to be about a year. Thanks. Thanks to getting signed. Like who actually talked to you about it? Was it Danny? How'd you find out that day? And, you know, what do you think when it finally happened? Uh, so I showed up to the building, the old school, mm -hmm. parked in the back. And whenever I parked in the back, the first person that I saw come through the door who barely fit the door was Batista. And so I think all the guys already knew, you know, like they were. So when I got there, he first thing he did was say congratulations and kind of give me a hug. And I was like, I had no idea what he was talking about. I thought, oh, yeah. like what? Then I walked in, they told me that they wanted me to go into the office and talk to Danny. And that's when he told me they were going to offer me a contract, which the funny thing about it is, is you work your, it's your dream to get a contract. Yeah. It was about a, a quarter of the money that I made at my regular job, right. but it was getting paid to wrestle. Yeah. We used to just train for two hours a day in the ring. Because there wasn't a lot of us back then. You trained for two hours. We had shows on Wednesday, usually maybe Friday, Saturday, and we had our Sunday show. And, I mean, I could just – I made less money, but I just spent less money. Yeah. I mean, I just only got the essentials. Like, I was a believer back then that if you were in developmental and you saved money, then you didn't do everything you could to make it. If you're getting paid to train – you should be buying new boots. You should be every, you know, changing your hair, putting the money into the gym. Like if, if you're making developmental money and putting it all away, if you don't make it, then you didn't, you didn't have every stone unturned. Yeah. Big gold and a bill fold. So swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I money fold and rubber band wrap. And when it